Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, India's ISRO, and Elon Musk's SpaceX. These are the three launch providers AST Space Mobile will be partnering with throughout 2025 and 2026. In this video, we'll explore the rockets AST will be using to put its satellites into orbit. First up, let's talk about Blue Origin. AST will be launching with New Glenn, which has just had its first successful launch. This rocket has a reusable first stage, which is critical for reducing cost and time between launches, something AST will be doing a lot of with this rocket during 2026. AST's first launch with Blue Origin will likely be in late 2025, with New Glenn's massive fairing able to carry up to eight bluebirds at a time into space. This is one of the primary reasons why AST has chosen to use the New Glenn rocket. Its massive capacity matched with the fact that it's believed to only cost $70 million per launch makes it an extremely competitive option for AST. Before AST launches with New Glenn, it plans to launch with the ISRO using their LVM3 rocket. This fully expendable vehicle has a 100% launch success rate to date. Although we're not sure of the exact date of AST's planned launch, it seems likely it'll be during Q1 of this year. We do know that the mission will be to carry a single Block 2 Bluebird into space inside the LVM-3's fairing. Given AST has a spaceport it can launch from just a few states away in Florida, why has it chosen to undertake the logistical challenge of transporting a satellite 900 plus miles to launch with the ISRO? We think there are a number of reasons. Firstly, this launch could be a publicity stunt to create positive PR in India. India is one of the world's largest cell phone markets, and one where AST will be looking to offer its services in the near future. Given this launch has been booked for a while, it could have been used as leverage in AST's negotiations with SpaceX and Blue Origin. It could also be that when AST launched Blue Walker 1, its first test satellite, on board a PSLV rocket, back in 2019, it struck a deal with the ISRO for favourable terms if it guaranteed to use them for a future mission. We've explored all the reasons in a thread on X, which you can find in the video description. After the ISRO launch, AST has two launches planned with SpaceX using their Falcon 9. This is a highly dependable rocket that's been flying since 2010, with a 99% plus success rate. That's from over 400 launches. Like New Glenn, the first stage of the Falcon 9 is reusable, making it more cost effective to operate than other rockets. The ferry of the Falcon 9 is capable of carrying four Block 2 Bluebirds into orbit. We think AST viewed this option as the perfect stopgap before New Glenn comes online. AST and SpaceX have a tried and tested relationship, having worked together back in 2022 when SpaceX launched Blue Walker 3 AST's prototype satellites, and more recently when SpaceX launched the first five Block 1 Bluebirds in September 2024. So these three rockets are AST's ticket into space over the next two years. If we put them to scale, you'll get an appreciation for how truly massive New Glenn is. It also puts into perspective why the ISRO's rocket will only be carrying one Bluebird. For more AST Space Mobile content, make sure you're subscribed to Connected Space.